this demo, I would like to show you smart code VNC managers monitoring features. When it comes to registered computers list, you can update VNC server status, RDP server status, ping a remote computer. You can also fetch list of VNC distributions that installed on this computer, list of logged on users. You can also fetch a computer's MAC address. So let's try to update several computers. I'm using Ctrl U shortcut, but of course this can be done via context menu as well. So the update is running now. Say this computer doesn't have a VNC installed, but it has RDP. And most probably its, it's firewall is blocking ping requests. Two of your computers have Ultra VNC server installed using VNC logon mode. And here I can see list, list of users logged on to the computers. Right now I did a manual update, but it's actually possible to make it automatically. Let's take a look at the update features settings. Server status check. So if you check this checkbox, the VNC manager will update all the registered computers upon its startup. You can also schedule with update to run within time interval, like every 20 minutes or so. So you can select to update VNC server status, RDP status, ping remote computer, result MAC address, fetch users, as well to tell the VNC manager to update entire network computer status. Let's see how this feature works. So it is enabled right now. So I'm expanding entire network computers. And as you can see, the VNC manager is updating your statuses. So RDP alive, VNC is down for this computer. There is another cool feed monitoring feature in VNC manager called VNC thumbnail view. So what it does is actually showing a remote computer screen with VNC server installed as a small image on the VNC manager screen. Let's use those two computers for this demo. Okay, as you can see, we can view both of the screens on the same panel. We can resize the images or make them really small. Right now we have two thumbnail items added, but the VNC manager can support like up to 50 or 60 images here. So you can establish a connection, a VNC connection from this view. So another nice monitoring feature is automatic screenshots feature. So let's click on the settings here. For example, you have a computer which is running for a long period of time and you want to monitor its computer screen, this computer screen. So you can enable auto screenshot feature. And when enabled, it will take a screenshots of the screen via predefined interval, like every minute in this case. And it will store them in some predefined folder. So say you can monitor a computer overnight and when you return it in your office in the morning, you can review the computer's screenshots and see what was happening during the night. This concludes this demo about monitoring features.